Have you ever wanted hair like a mermaid? Me too, so let's do it. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get a little notification every time I upload. Today, what we're going to be doing is turning this little bit of nothing hair into something that is really cool mermaid waves. So this is a super easy style to do. It looks really awesome and it looks like it was a lot harder to do than it is. The only thing that you really need is one of these. This is a waver. It's essentially a crimper, basically. <laughs> if you remember crimpers from like the, the 90s or early 2000s and they were like these little zigzaggy things, that's what it is. So this is what it looks like and you kind of just crimp your hair in there. These are just much bigger barrels and they result in these really cool kind of waves. Now obviously the idea with mermaids is that they have these really long bits of hair that kind of like cover their little shell bikinis. <laughs> and obviously whilst my hair is growing very fast, it's not quite long enough to do that yet. So I'm going to be popping in some clip-in hair extensions. I actually just got myself a brand new set of Luxies so I'm going to go ahead and clip those in. Normally I cut these a lot shorter for day-to-day -day wear, but I think I'm gonna leave them full length and I might cut a few little layers in there just so that it blends nicely with my hair. But essentially I want this to look kind of as long as possible. The great thing about this new set is it's actually balayage. You can see like the highlights there towards the ends, which is awesome because I used to clip in two different colors. I used to clip in like the chestnut and the blonde, and I would try to make those two colors sort of match the highlights in my hair. But now all I have to do is basically throw them in and I'm done. So the only difference really with clipping in the extensions is normally I don't really put that much to the front here because I'm quite fine with there being a little bit of like soft layers around my face framing the face. But with this hairstyle, you actually don't really want all the different layers around here. So I've gone ahead and clipped the little individuals right towards the front of my face so that I've got a lot to play with here. And that will just offset these little short layers here a little bit more. Okay, so whilst this hairstyle is ridiculously easy to do, there are a couple of tips which are going to help with the result at the end. And the first time I tried this, I didn't really do any prep or anything. I just like got the waver and just started crimping my hair with it. And it turned out really quite fluffy and and almost a bit frizzy. So what I recommend is that if you have your own sort of roots and they haven't just recently been cut and they're not super, super fresh, get some sort of anti-frizz oil or something like that. This is the uh, John Frieda Frizz Ease Serum. So just get a couple of pumps of that and just get any like frizzy pieces covered in that so that they're not looking all weird and raggedy at the end. Then next up, I'm just gonna separate the lowest section. And I do wanna take fairly small sections here. When I curl my hair, I tend to take pretty large chunks because I just want really big waves. Whereas with this, you know, the result of the crimping is really gonna differ if you've got a really chunky piece of hair in there. So you just need to take little pieces like this. And it's ideal if you've got a little bit of hairspray on you just to prep each piece so that the wave holds a little bit better. So I just give it a little spritz, then I give it a little brush through with a comb, and then you just go ahead and grab your waver. I've actually got this on the hottest setting here, which means it's only gonna take a few seconds per crimp. And then what you wanna do is basically just that. <laughs> And that's basically it. <laughs> and that's basically it. You pretty much just chill. So the key is to take small chunks of hair and then just work your way down them like that and see how that's starting to get that little wavy texture going on there. It's super easy. It's just time consuming. So put on a song or a YouTube video or something <laughs> and just basically do that. I'm actually really interested in what you guys like to watch on YouTube. I feel like I need to like discover a few more people. So if you have any people that you think I would enjoy on YouTube, let me know in the comments below. Look how shiny that looks. I don't know why, but these wavers like create such a shiny looking piece of hair 
and it actually stays like that. Okay, so that is one little piece of hair done. So I'm just gonna work my way around. Same thing, just give this a spritz of hairspray all the way down. I find that this really helps because I'm obviously trying to join my hair here, which is shorter with the extensions, but the little spritz of hairspray is kind of key. I love that I'm doing this hairstyle while it's literally winter here in Australia. <laughs> I just like I refuse to give in to winter. I'm sitting here like lathered in fake tan with a shell necklace on doing a mermaid hair tutorial. <laughs> I'm just not equipped for cold weather. Luckily here in Sydney it doesn't really get too cold. It's like 22 degrees. It's like light jacket kind of weather but nothing, nothing crazy. Even like I don't even really know how to dress for winter, you know, like I just like I like linen and denim shorts and bikinis and that kind of thing like little summer dresses and sandals. So I'm just gonna go out rocking mermaid hair. Pretend it's <laughs> pretend it's the beach. So I think it's a good idea to figure out how long these take or how kind of crimped you want them to be. If you hold them there for much longer, the, the wave will be a lot more dramatic. But if you just hold them there quite quickly, it'll just give it a little bit of a kink. Let me know what you guys prefer. Are you a winter person or a summer person? I assume because you clicked on this link that you're all summer people because you're like <laughs> trying to do mermaid hair. Okay, so that's the first little layer down the bottom done there. <laughs> Did you guys just see my pajama pants? <laughs> yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. <laughs> so here is where it's a little bit tricky because I'm coming to a little section where my hair doesn't want to be inside the waver. So I have to kind of hold it in place and slide this down so that my waver grips all of the hair. And so the first time I did this, I wasn't really sure how much of a gap to leave when you slide it down. That was like the trickiest thing for me because I, I was putting it down much further than the previous crimp, thinking that there'll just be, you know, a sort of natural little wave that occurs in between them. But actually the best way to go is, see how here, that one's being curled in a downwards direction. Just slide it two down. So you go one, two, and back on that jump, that's when you crimp again. So that you're basically meeting the high from there to the high to there. Does that make sense? So the hairspray I'm using is just Schwarzkopf. It's a strong styling hairspray. You can probably use one that's a bit of a softer hold as well because you don't want it to be like crunchy or anything. But this is turning out exactly how I want it. See how like nice and shiny and they're just cooling down like that now. This waver is actually not my ideal waver. I think there are some that have slightly bigger barrels to create slightly bigger waves. This is just the only one that I could find here in the stores. So I'll leave some online links below for you guys for some good wavers. Now the only other tip I have is to not really pull this down because you obviously don't want to straighten the little waves ahead so just make sure that you're giving these ones above a little bit of room to just chill and cool down so if you can see when i'm sort of towards the roots i don't go all the way to the roots because obviously i don't want to burn my face off but um what i do want to do is kind of face it out away from my face and it just means that they start to have a little bit of volume there without me having to back comb or anything like that so See how they like that just sort of the first little wave is already popping out. When you start to do that all the way up the head, it gives you really nice natural, well, natural looking volume. <laughs> you guys in the comments are always talking about like arm exercises because my biceps pop so much when I do this. And it's just from literally doing these hair tutorials. <laughs> As I get towards the top of my head, I don't hold the ones by the roots as long because I don't want it to be super, super bumpy up here. So I leave them a little bit less and then I kind of let the center towards the ends be the most prominent waves. Okay, so when I start to get towards the top layers, rather than like pulling the whole thing out and making it really messy, I basically just pull out one little section at a time because these are a little bit more tricky. So I'm gonna pull that out and clip all of this back so it doesn't get in my way. 
And now with these little end pieces here, because they're obviously shorter than my extensions, down the bottom here, you can leave the little inch at the end out and just let that look like it's like dipped into the water type thing. But up here, you need to clamp it so that it sort of blends with the rest of your hair. So you need to make sure that you go all the way to the bottom and get these little diddlies in there. Right, so at the top here, I'm going for a bit of a center part. So I'm just gonna finish off these nice little pieces. I'm not gonna pop any hairspray there because I don't want them to look um, like crunchy or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go about half an inch away from my part and do a fairly quick one. So now you can basically just run your fingers through your hair like this just to pull the little waves apart so you don't have like full little plates <laughs> where it's very clear that you've just put like a crimper on there. And then because I don't want it so buffy, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the Frizz Ease Serum and just in a few key places where it's like the most um, frizzy I guess, just put that through there again and it just adds a little bit of that texture and shine. This hairstyle is most ideal if you don't have any sort of bangs, like if you've got like long pieces at the front there and it just all blends together. But I had the great idea recently to cut some bangs in there. So these are not my favorite little pieces. So I'm kind of just strategically trying to hide them and just blend them into the rest of the hair. And there you go, Mermaid Curls. Super easy, right? I'm just gonna grab these side pieces here and kind of clip them with a bobby pin back a bit like that. So let me know what you guys think. I hope this was somewhat helpful. If you do try this hairstyle, let me know how you go in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if there are any other kind of videos you wanna see from me, also feel free to leave some suggestions. I always take them on board and I kind of like run with what you guys are asking for. So if there's something you wanna see, feel free to just let me know. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna make sure that you never miss an upload of one of my videos. But for now, I will love and leave you and see you in the next one.